All right, guys, so in a renovation, you're trying to keep the soil moist so the seeds can germinate. But at some point, you need to stop watering it so much. And uh, the timing of it is kind of important because you need to understand what type of grass you're actually planting. In my case, it's Kentucky bluegrass, and it can take a full 30 days to germinate. So if you, if you stop watering too soon, some of the seed won't germinate and you don't want that to happen. So it's a balancing act um, because if you start to notice fungus on or lawn disease on the actual grass itself, you want to cut back on the water. So just keep watching it when you're still within the germination window. Um, after 30 days, I'm not going to keep watering it as much as I am. I'm still going to water it daily, but I'm not going to be watering it five times a day. And it's also weather dependent. Usually you're seeding in the fall, so it's getting cooler and cooler. Now today, it's interestingly enough, it's like 10 degrees warmer than it was the past week. And this whole week is supposed to be very warm. So I'm gonna be watching it carefully and um, trying to balance out because I don't want it to be soggy like it was a few days ago when we got two inches of rain. So it is, it's not like an exact science, but you gotta, you got to kind of look at what your own conditions are doing um, and just remember that some of the grass seed still hasn't germinated so um, make sure it stays moist and that's all there really is to it.